Hey everybody, Jonathan here on the road and I'm headed to Knoxville, Tennessee for Fanboy Comic Con, but first gotta stop at Bucky's. This is so crazy. I had this as a kid, the Star Wars foosball table. Oh my gosh. The crazy thing is the Lego one is probably even more expensive than this one. <laughs> Here they've got these DC construction figures. This was from 2012 when they first came out. These things are so weird, but kind of cool in that like creepy nostalgic way. Okay, so that's a wrap on day one at the convention. It was a lot of fun. It got to do a ton of fun stuff, but of course, the haul will come at the end. Right now, I'm gonna head over to Brick House Collectibles, which is one of my favorite Lego stores in the world, right here in Knoxville, Tennessee. So let's get on the road. one but two Mars missions. That is absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> Literally, where else can you go that you have not one but two ATTEs sealed? I mean, come on, man, that is so cool. I'm too scared to pick this up, but this is literally sealed. It is, it is it's brittle brown, right? Never that's know. true. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, even if you Never opened know. it, you're rolling the dice. Almost better to leave it sealed. Right. <laughs> Okay, so casually, my favorite set of all time, but then underneath it, look at this. 2008 Death Star in the original shipping box. <laughs> Come on, man, that is so cool. And five seconds later, Pat pulls out two more from the back. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's like opening day, baby. That's incredible. <laughs> I always love the Lego lifestyle swag they have. They've got like the flashlights and keychains and all that. And then of course they've got the CMFs. And I love that they actually put like what figure you're getting that just makes it so easy and takes out all the guesswork.
All right, that's all she wrote for Brick House Collectibles. Got a big old haul. I guess you could kind of see what I got there, but I got some other stuff, so stay tuned. You know the haul always comes at the end. Now it's time for dinner, and it's gonna be a good one. So if you guys have watched my previous vlogs, you know that the Copper Cellar is one of my all-time favorite restaurants, let alone my favorite in Knoxville. Now, they do have this location that's new, at least new to me, so excited to check it out and see what it's like. It's a beautiful morning here in Knoxville. I slept in a little bit, but from my hotel room, you can see the line to get in, which is awesome because that means it's going to be a great con, but not so great because it's going to take me forever to get in. So yeah, wish me luck. So this line goes across the bridge all the way, and this is literally just the security line to get in. And there's another line on that side. So I am not gonna go into the con anytime soon i'm actually gonna go out and about and see around knoxville kill some time and come back later so yeah well that line is not moving at all and i'm here in knoxville and i've always wanted to go to the top of the sun sphere so i think today's the day i've got the time to kill it only costs five bucks to go to the top so but let's check off this tennessee rite of passage and see what it looks like up at the top the view from the top is so cool but the only thing is the line is still just as bad from up here. <laughs> unbelievable view. This sun sphere was built for the 1982 World's Fair, so it's been here for like 40 years. Isn't that insane? But anyways, yeah, the view up here is absolutely amazing. Definitely worth it. Well, the top of the sun sphere was super fun, but I'm just not having it with this line, so I'm gonna go hunt for some toys locally and come back when the line dies down a little later today. So, let's get at it. You guys know this is a favorite spot of mine in Knoxville, so let's head in. Well, this was about the last thing I would have expected to find. Wow, <laughs> Star Wars Mad Libs, how about that? When it rains, it pours. Got some vintage bricks there, got a big bin. Vintage space, pretty rad. It's about three o'clock. The lines have finally died down a little bit, so now it's time to head back over to the con. Holy moly, that's a lot of people. Yes. Sunday at the convention. That means it's the quiet day. Well, co quiet compared to yesterday at least. And uh, gonna see what kind of deals we can hunt down before heading home. So let's get to it. <music> We just had lunch across the street and now we're at a place called Rocket Fizz that has all kinds of old school candy and sodas and all that good stuff. Well, 
that's about all she wrote for Fanboy Knoxville. We're packing up and heading out. I've been hanging out with indies and indie affiliates. I guess I'm an indie affiliate this time, but let's get back to Nashville and check out everything that happened, and I'll see you guys there. All right, so I'm officially back home, which means it's time for the haul. So up top, we've got the Jurassic Park set that I got autographed by Wayne Knight. He was super, super awesome and definitely cool to meet. Over here, we've got two Disney Parks exclusives, Indiana Jones micro play sets. This one has all of the characters, well, at least a lot of the characters from the Indiana Jones stunt show. And then over here, we've got more, uh, I guess these are technically also from the stunt show, but it's a little bit more based off of The Last Crusade. Moving below those, we've got these really weird DC buildable figures. These are both sealed. The Batman box is a little rough, but I got both for 30 bucks, and that was pretty good. Over here, we've got the Creator 3-in-1 Exotic Parrot, as well as the Legoland exclusive Legoland set, which you can make into any Legoland that you want. So back here, you can see the ticket, and basically, whatever Legoland you've been to, you can put the sticker on there. I wanted to get this last year when I was at Legoland Beeland in Denmark, but this would have been really hard to get home, so it was cool to get this and this from Pat's shop over at Brickhouse Collectibles, as well as some awesome minifigures here as well. Back here, we've got the LJN Indiana Jones. This is a very rare toy from the Temple of Doom, and uh, this is complete with the whip, the sword, the satchel, and the hat is actually removable too. So this is a very, very hard figure to find complete. I've been looking for this one for a while, and I got a really good deal on it. At the convention, I also picked up a Belloc from the 1982 Raiders of the Lost Ark wave. And the big thing about him is that he has his paper map, which is a very, very difficult piece to come by. At the top of the Sun Sphere, which you guys remember from earlier in the vlog, I went ahead and picked up this. I like to pick up little trinkets and like 3D objects from places I've been. So this is a cool one to add to the collection. Got this random vintage Lego guy back there. Also got this poly bag at Pat's shop. I got this set for 15 bucks. This is the, uh, you know, Green Lantern Batman set. And when I bought this for 15, they threw in that figure, which was very awesome. I got this from Pat's shop as well at Brickhouse Collectibles. This is the McDonald's Lego set. I'm actually going to review this before long, so stay tuned. Then I got this Star Wars Mad Libs book at the antique store. So you basically fill in your own Mad Libs about Star Wars. It's never been filled out. I just thought that was pretty random. Here I've got a bazooka. This goes to the Kenner Indiana Jones Indy in the German disguise. I really needed this to complete my collection, so I'm that much closer. And finally, I got these Raiders of the Lost Ark and Temple of Doom record books. So you see that you can like leaf through the little book and it's literally like you're watching the movie. But then in the back, there's a record you can put on a record player that plays along as you read it to immerse you in the movie. I also was able to get my Last Crusade Laserdisc signed by John Reese davies We've hung out four times over the last seven weeks. So it's really, really awesome to get to know John and to become friends. And of course, I had it signed by Julian Glover, who played Walter Donovan already. So it's cool to add this to the collection. And with that, we're going to bring the video to to a close. Let me know what you thought of the vlog overall. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.